Hi everyone, it's Sam. I just wanted to jump on quickly because I know we've got a lot of new members and we've got a few new products with sophisticated supplies. So I just wanted to jump on and talk a little bit about them. For those of you who don't know, no, I am not Jassy. We are different. I have no, um, I'm not part of the business. I just love the products. <laughs> so um, let me jump in straight away. So for those of you who've been around, I'll show the new products first um, and then I'll go on to like my most favorites. So the new products at the moment that's popped out is um, the WD, <laughs> the, WD, the waterproof canvas. So these are some of the waterproof canvases. So um, these are PVC backed. So this is what we are talking about when we talk about PVC. So it's the waterproof material. So this is like the kind of stuff that you see on like auto techs and things like that. So it, um, yep, so it's got that backing. So um, I have used um, WPC with waterproof backing, uh, with PVC backing in the past, and I've not really been a huge fan, mainly because a lot of the ones that I've used, um, after you bend it or anything like that, the crease really shows, and then it kind of like destroys the fabric a little bit. As you can see, like the crease is kind of there, but it's not super noticeable. So once you actually flatten it out and after you sew it and give it time to sit and develop its um, the bag shape, that, flat, um, that little bit of um, bend goes away. So there are two versions, the 300 and 600D. So for those of you who don't know, <laughs> me included, um, it's the denier of the external. So I'll get really close. So this is the 600 here. So as you can see, hopefully, it's a little bit um, like the, it's a little bit, I don't want to say rougher, but it, like it's a little bit more textured. Whereas the 300's a little bit smoother. You see like it's just a little bit, it's not as obvious grains as the 600. So they have their own differences. In terms of thickness, there's not that much thickness between the two. There might be a little bit of weight difference, but the PVC is the same, so it's very similar. The 600 is just slightly, maybe a little bit thicker. Um, one of the other new things that popped up is a vinyl, the checkered vinyl. So I've ordered another three colors of this. This is gorgeous, so if you can see that. Now it is a beautiful, easy to sew vinyl. There's no stretch to it, which I love. I hate vinyl that stretches. Um, yep, so that one's there. There's heaps of colors of this one on the website as well. Now to the fabrics that I love. So some of you know, I love my Vibrant Voo and I love my Twill. So these are the two different, Vibrant Voo and Twill. So I've all of my linings now have been completely replaced with Vibrant Voo and Twill. I don't buy anything else but these two things, four linings and all of my pockets now. So the reason being is both of these are waterproof. Um, so that's the main, main thing. I like waterproof fabrics. I think it's really important. I've got two toddlers, so waterproof and cleanability is really important to me. Um, and I can advertise it as such that all my bags use waterproof lining. I think that's a good like selling thing as well. If you do sell your makes. Now, the two, what's the difference between Vibrant Voo and Twill? And why do I use them both? First of all, a lot for me is to do with the look. They do feel a bit different. So the twill's a little bit drapier. It's a little softer. Whereas the twill has a little bit, tiny bit more structure, but it's still super thin. And that's one of the things that I love so much about twill and Vibrant Voo. It's, it's thin, but it's waterproof. So when you do some of the bulkier bags with lots of layers, you don't have to worry as much because this is thinner. Um, it comes in heaps of colors. I have every single color in stock myself because I like the idea. I do a lot of custom makes. So, sorry, I dropped something. So I love the idea that my clients can literally have any color they want. So um, that's these two. And if you put water on it, you can actually see how it works. But I did try it. So the side, I can actually feel the difference now, the right side and the wrong side from touching it. But when you can't, you drop a droplet on it, the right side, the water will stay on top. The wrong side, the water kind of dispels a little bit, if that makes sense. So, but Jassy does have a post on her blog on how to tell the right and wrong side as well on both of them. So they can also be ironed. I have been asked that they can be ironed. I iron it on a low heat. Um, yeah, so that's the Twill and Twill Vibrant Boo. So Vibrant Boo has like a textured look. 
Swirl is smoother, both waterproof, both amazing. All of my linings are these now. Now, next thing, <laughs> I can't live without foam, so piece of foam. All of my stabilizers now have been, um, I don't use any other stabilizer, sorry, I should say, than um, apart from suffusive foam now. So if something called for, say, fleece, a pattern called for fleece, I would use suffusive light. If a pattern called for decoral heavy, depending on the size of the bag, I would use suffusive heavy or suffusive premium. If something called for foam, I would normally use heavy. Um, yep, so pretty much I substitute foam for everything. So what it is, is like you can see, it's foam, it's not thick, which I love because the foam we get in Australia is super thick and then it's like squishy and spongy. It's really annoying, I hate it. Mm. Anyway, so it's this and um, that is stick down. You can hear that nice stick down. So one of the things that I love about it that a few people have asked about is um, like how it goes when you turn it inside out. I've shown a few photos before, but you can stick it and peel it off really easily and the stick I haven't lost stick yet with a few that I've stuck on and taken things off a few times but um, more importantly when you do turn it out I've never had problems with wrinkling or anything like that so far touch wood um, yeah it's just an amazing product I really love it um, when it's shipped some people worried about um, the creases I have used all parts of it not wasting any of it and the creases have never bothered me in a finished bag. So once you put it on, just give it a little bit of pressure on the right side of your fabric and let it really smooth in. I know Jassy even uses like a card to like really smooth it on. I don't even go that far. I literally just smack it down with my hand and it's done. Sometimes with if I'm putting it on fabric instead of vinyl, I do put a little bit of heat on the fabric side um, once it's adhered. It just helps melt the glue a little bit, I find. So it like really stops it from lifting off again. With vinyl, I don't bother. Just smack it down, leave it done. And that's the suffusive foam. So this is amazing. The meshes, if you ever, I used to hate mesh until Jassy got me some of this onto the sophisticated mesh. So it has movement this way, but not this way. So, you know, so that makes it really easy to use compared to some of the other meshes on the market. Um, it's also super easy to sew because it's quite, I don't, I don't know if structured is the right word, but it's not like flimsy like some of the other meshes are. Like it's really, really, yes, there's structure to it. And that's what I like about this mesh. Um, so obviously I use it for all mesh pockets, things like that. I love mesh pockets now because it's so much easier. It's cut, bind, put it on, done. It's like lazy man slip pocket to me mesh pockets are now now last thing is the 3d air mesh that i want to talk about so this is your 3d air mesh so this is the right side this is the wrong side so if you don't know what it is it looks like mesh but it's spongy so i use these for linings of laptop bags as well as padding for laptop slip um, slip pockets but i also use them on um, backpack straps so the back of a backpack strap this is the side that goes against you that's the side that shows um, as well as on the back panel for a backpack so it just lifts it off your back a little bit in Australia we get really hot days so having that 3d air mesh adds that little bit of cool to it I found like if you're really sweaty not that I'm saying I'm sweaty maybe I am I don't know anyway it's really nice to have that little bit of extra oomph oomph there so yeah those are the main things I've talked for long enough so yeah, any questions, ask. If I don't know the answer, I'll tag Jessie, she can answer. So yay.